Mike Romero, who actually lives in Orange County and has for many years. He's been a big part of the Huntington Beach community. He's going to kick this parade off. Hey, Rick. All right, Colleen, David, you know that a lot of people have been out here for many, many hours waiting for this parade. So guess what? Now is the time to get it started. Let's go. Parade, you're on your way. <laughs> we don't want these people waiting any longer. Certainly, we start off with the Huntington Beach Police Department coming through, the big banner, and a couple of, uh, well, red, white, and blue people on very long legs. Take a look at that. This is so fun. Colleen and David, back to you. <laughs> and you can see the stilt walkers. And of course, we are here. Of course, we are celebrating our nation's Independence Day. These are the stilt walkers. And boy, aren't they just wearing the patriotic colors so symbolic with today. And this is a sea of red, white, and blue. Keep in mind, this parade has been around for 110 years. This is wonderfully steeped in tradition. A lot of folks in this community certainly are well aware of the traditions of this parade. But this is our opportunity to show it to the rest of Southern California. California as uh, we see this great tradition kick off and let you learn a lot more about it. And you're seeing making their way right now the 4th of July Union High School All City Band. Welcome them. Let's listen in as they make their way down Main Street. major high schools in this district, Edison, Fountain Valley, Huntington Beach, Marina, Ocean View, and Westminster. They're doing a great job. And all the students auditioned for their parts in this band, so, uh, and, and the, the drill team, so it's very special to them.